Hey, this is my recap of the Real Housewives of Orange County, Valentine's and Birthday Wines, uh, episode, season 9, episode 15. As we follow Tamara into her slow descent into amnesia and just really craziness. So I feel like Tamara's kind of been going underneath the radar like she's been shady but pretty quiet. And it's all starting to come out, okay? So we open up with Tammy, uh, Tammy. Tamara and Vicky commiserating about their kids, about the, you know, the kids running off and getting married and stuff. And of course the conversation switches to the party and Shannon losing it. And Vicky calls her out and says, Tamara, you know, you've been like a fish out of water, flip flop, flip flop. Because, you know, Tamara was like going over here to Shannon, kind of stirring things up and then going over to Heather and be like, oh, Heather, my dear friend. Oh, here, let me just share some dirt to make it worse. And then going back to Shannon and really just whipping this whole thing into a frenzy. And then afterwards, playing clearly both sides and it's really kind of distressing so we're kind of getting vicky like i said it's really weird when vicky and brooks are kind of the two most sane people on the show because i haven't been a real big fan of either one of them uh lizzie is planning a birthday party we already know that heather can't come because uh, heather's already has plans to go to vegas to see britney for her birthday now, when Lizzie's birthday rolls around, well, we also see uh, Heather planning her Valentine's Day party, but we, we'll get to that later. So Lizzie's birthday shows up. She's in the party bus. Woo-woo, it's my birthday. And no one's there. So she calls Shannon, and Shannon's, or Shannon calls her and says, um, you know, uh, I can't. I still have a fever. And then it, I thought she called Tamara, but I guess Tamara called her or something and said, I can't come. Sophie's sick. Da calls Danielle. Danielle's running super late. We'll meet her there. Now, I don't normally try to, I try to just review the episode itself and stay away from the Twitter and the blogs and all that, but everything's been blowing up with Tamara and her saying that she would have called earlier, but production made her call at that time. Well, Tamara, if that is true, which very well could be, you, this is not your first rodeo. You know that whatever is filmed is how you're going to be judged. So I kind of, even if it's true, it was still a decision that she made not to call earlier and say, just so you know, Sophie's sick, I might not be able to come. Or, Sophie's sick, I definitely can't come or something. Because you can't do something on camera and then get really mad that when it's shown, people don't know what happened behind the scenes. So, um, people are saying, well, good for you for sticking up, you know, sticking it to the production. But I kind of feel like, you know... You could have done both. You could have texted her and warned her and then called at the time. Whatever. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, we see, this is really important, we see Vicky show up and be like, woohoo, we're here to have fun with Brooks. Late, but she shows up. They go out. They seem to have a great time. Brooks is really, you know, interesting. Vicky's really fun. This huge table is only the four of them. So I felt super bad for Lizzie. Now, Lizzie... I would have come. We would have had a great time. We would have done shots. We would have talked mad smack about everyone else. We would have had a great time. So next time, Lizzie, you just got to know. You got to invite me. Don't even worry. I'll even fly in for you. Pick me up at John Wayne. Put me in a guest room. We're all set. So never never forget that. Um, now, uh, Vicky does say that basically Tamara just didn't want to come. And Tamara hinted at that in her blog that, you know, she doesn't like leaving when her daughters, when her kids are there and all that. But um, she also mentions, you know, that Tamara talked mad smack about Brooks. She did. I, I can't necessarily disagree that it was unwarranted. Um, but, you know, there you go. Anyway, that's the end of the evening. We never see Danielle, but it's implied that D and Danielle did show up. I guess it was just too boring to show the footage. Because it's kind of weird because they never really address the fact that we don't see any footage of Danielle. Now, the next day, Tamara and Heather are talking. Uh, I want to go on a honeymoon, but I keep, we keep too busy. Well, we were going to go on a honeymoon for 20th or whatever, but we can't. We should go on our own honeymoon with each other and have a girl's trip. Typical girl's trip every season. They're going to go to Bali. So they agree. Woohoo, we're going to invite everyone. So they call Vicky. They're like, we're going to go to Bali. And she's like, where? What? And then she's like, well, you have to invite Shannon. And everyone's like, err. And all of a sudden, Tamara has this big issue with Shannon and I'm like where did this come from because I know they had a falling out but there hadn't been any real indications that Tamara was so over Shannon until she was with Heather so it kind of felt like she was hopping on board Heather's problem to dislike Shannon so it was kind of weird and a little you know flip floppy anyway um uh anyway what's weird is 
we see Lizzie preparing for the Bali trip with Danielle, and Danielle's like, I just can't let go of this comment from Vicky. Now what they do is they edit it and they show something that Vicky said as she was entering the party bus for Lizzie's birthday and saying, I can't believe I have to hang out with Dumb and Dumber. They explain it by Lizzie saying, yeah, um, as Vicky was coming to the bus, I heard her yell, I don't want to be with Dumb and Dumber. Now this is my opinion and it's, I have no facts other than an educated guess and based on my experience on working on a show. My guess is Lizzie never heard Vicky say it. But at some point, some I, I guarantee you production heard it. The sound guy definitely heard it. We had so much information in production that we found out from our sound guys because stuff would happen off scene, but they're already mic'd up and those sound guys can hear all of it. And it's, and it's probably recorded. So remember, Vicky doesn't just show up and get on the bus. She shows up, they get mic'd up, they get on the bus. So my guess is that someone told Lizzie after the evening that Vicky said, Dumb and Dumber. Okay, and that is why we did not see it. It didn't show up in the original edit of the birthday scene. And that's also why Lizzie didn't react. My guess is, I, there's, well, there's a lot of different reasons. It could be that it slipped and someone thought that Lizzie had heard it and said, well, what did you think of when Vicky said Dumb and Dumber? And she was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And they either showed her the footage or told her what happened. It could be that Lizzie's been so low key. They were like, you know, not everyone's your friend and showed her the footage or something like that. But that is my guess is that she didn't actually hear it. The reason they introduced it later in the episode was because after she knew about it, then they introduced it. Just my opinion. And it's a real shame. I think it was a really, it's not a surprising comment from Vicky, but it kind of bums me out because I was starting to kind of like her. Um, anyway, that's, that's my opinion on that. Um, Shannon's getting her daughter Sophie ready to go with David on a trip to Europe and it's like way over the top and the only thing I really noticed is that she made a reference to colloidal silver for a cough and that's that stuff that if you take a bunch of orally you turn blue so I was like whoa hey easy with that but she's sending her daughter with half of a pharmacy um so there you go just I guess more evidence that Shannon's crazy but it's really not that unusual uh let's see so we show up at Heather's Valentine's Day party and um, Lizzie does tell Tamara that Vicky said that um, that Tamara just didn't want to go and, T and Tamara gets all mad at Lizzie like how dare you say that and I thought why aren't you getting mad at Vicky like it seems like they always get mad at what others are supposed to be saying I don't know. It seems like it's always the person who repeats it. It always seems like they're mad at the wrong people. There you go. They're always getting mad at the wrong people. I'm going to leave it at that. The party ends up being Tamara, Heather, Danielle, and Lizzie and their spouses. Um, at the same time, we see Shannon and David off on their own thing, having, I guess, a dinner. It's, it's edited at the same time. I don't know if it happened at the same time. We hear that Tamara and Eddie do anal. Great, what a, what a joyous fact for me to now have in my, in my internal Rolodex. Um, now, nothing really, they just have a bunch of, you know, talk about sex and lots of laughing and stuff. Nothing really memorable from the Valentine's Day dinner, other than it was pretty. And lastly, we see Tamara, Heather, Vicky, and Shannon sit down for dinner, and they're going to invite, uh, Heather and Tamara are going to invite Shannon and say, hey, can we just kind of, can we just kind of all get along? And Heather has this long spiel about how it's Bali is Hindu and Hindu has reincarnation. It was really a long way around to get back to saying, you know, we're stuck in this cycle. Is there any way we could just agree to step out of it and kind of move on? And she agrees. So up next is Bali. And there you go. I can't wait to see what havoc Tamara wreaks there.